Well, first of all, my job at Cal was in, uh, to be a professor of environmental history, philosophy, and ethics. And so environmental history was a lot of which I had developed and uh, explored in my books, The Death of Nature and Ecological Revolutions and uh, so on. But then environmental philosophy and ethics was another important part of that uh, position. And so I uh, began teaching environmental ethics and then developed my own view of it. And so in teaching environmental ethics, I uh, started out to talk about um, liberal environmental ethics, which was part of the world in which humans uh, live and in which uh, men are usually uh, dominant over women and we're living in a capitalist society. And so environmental ethics comes out of that and consistent with it if we want to talk about um, sort of general uh, environmental ethics and um, how you would live in a liberal society and therefore you would um, develop an ethic that would support patriarchy and support men's role and that men would be the people who mostly instigated and proposed and discussed the um, ethic and then the environmental ethic. And then we would have um, sort of radical uh, environmentalism uh, leading to radical uh, more uh, feminism. And those are where uh, women uh, become a much more important uh, role. They begin to think of themselves as leaders and think of how uh, radicalism um, could change the patriarchal relationships so that women uh, become uh, much more powerful and in some cases um, are dominant over men. And therefore we would get a, a radical environmental ethic uh, out of that that might also place women uh, much uh, f further above or equal uh, to men. And uh, then I developed out of that a uh, whole history and uh, intersection of uh, nature and humans, I developed a partnership ethic. And in that, I think of nature and humans. Na uh, nature as a uh, interacting system of ecological parts of um, people uh, and uh, animals and plants and minerals and so on in interaction with a human society in which all humans are equal. So it's not that whites are more dominant or Westerns or Westerners are more dominant, but all people all over the globe are equal to each other. And forming an ethic in which all those people are equal is in inter dynamic interaction with a nature that is also powerful and has um, a, a major role uh, to play, in which humans have to respect nature and accept what nature does and that there are things that nature uh, does that are uncontrollable, like we can't stop volcanoes and tsunamis and um, other um, major uh, hurricanes or things that um, nature produces, we can't control that. So nature has power and nature is its own self and an, itself as an actor and we have to respect that and accept it and yet and not try to control it and dominate it because ultimately we can't. So it's an interactive ethic in which humans have power 
and humans have power to do things or to stop themselves and withdraw from doing things and allow nature, give nature the respect that nature can do things that we can't control. So it's an interactive dynamic. 